The Mexican Grand Prix was one of those races where nothing really happened during the race. But there was a great deal of talking points after the race. From Max Verstappen to breaking records to Max Verstappen boycotting the Formula 1 broadcast. Hello and welcome to Fervent Motorsports and today we are going to take you through three things you probably missed at the Mexican Grand Prix. This season, Max Verstappen has been an absolute champion. He clinched the World Championship two races back, but he's still here breaking Formula 1 records. At the Mexican Grand Prix, he became the driver with the most wins in a season. The previous record was held by Michael Schumacher and Sebastian Vettel and they had 13 wins each. Verstappen now has 14. So, you'd think that everyone agrees that Max Verstappen is a generational talent, but that's not really the case. The latest controversy in Formula 1 was when the Red Bull crew decided to boycott Sky Sports. This came after the Sky Sports pundit said that Verstappen's championships had been robbed of Hamilton last year. The reporter who they're talking about is Ted Kravitz. Now, normally this won't really be an issue, but the Sky Sports broadcast is one of the international broadcasts. This is the same broadcast that you get in India and 80 more countries. It's really international. It's the main reason that Red Bull are angry. In short, here's what Verstappen had to say. You keep disrespecting me. At one point, I'm not tolerating that anymore. So that's why I decided to stop answering. No Formula 1 driver has ever been banned for a race for collecting too many penalty points. However, Gasly inches closer to changing that. He collected yet another penalty point for pushing Lance Stroll off the track. But he didn't really get a point for just pushing Stroll. Normally in Formula 1 and other motorsports, if you cut the track and gain a position, you can allow the car that you have just passed to overtake you. Once this happens, you can try to legally overtake again. The benefit of doing this is that the race officials don't get involved. If you gain an advantage illegally and give it back, that's sorted from the perspective of the officials. However, Gasly didn't do that and he just continued on. He was then later hit with a time penalty and another penalty point. He now has 10 points and the limit is 12, so he's really driving on the edge. If you want a full recap of this and all his other penalties, we made a video on that. So click on the top right-hand corner of the screen. The Ferrari cars have been competitive all year, but this weekend they could manage only 5th and 6th. They weren't the only cars struggling though, and the reason why some cars were struggling was Mexico. The track here is located at 2,250 meters above sea level. Think of it this way, every time you leave a city such as Mumbai or Delhi and head off to a high altitude place like Manali, Shimla or even Uti, you notice that you struggle to breathe even on short walks that would otherwise seem normal. This is because you have less air at these altitudes. In a similar way, the cars at Mexico struggle for air. It's the highest track on the Formula 1 calendar. Car engines will have to rev harder and turbochargers will have to spin faster to compensate for the less air. So Ferrari decided to turn down their engines because there was a risk of blowing up. This is why the Ferrari drivers were slower than the Red Bull and Mercedes, but faster than the rest of the grid. However, we can expect them to be fighting for the win once again at Interlagos, Brazil. So thank you for watching this video by us here at Fervent Motorsports. In case you do like it, remember to subscribe and as always stay tuned as we get you the best of motorsport news.